a 94 drive and dunk unlocking some of the craziest dunk animations in the game. With the 92 three ball giving you open looks on gold. Agent 3 is some of the best shooting matches in the game. With a 95 ball handle and a 90 speed with ball, unlocking Steve Francis' signature size up and Kyrie Irving dribble style, this build will have you unguardable. I made tons of builds this year so I know what works and I know what doesn't. So make sure you watch this video all the way through because there are specific things about this build that you must do to be as dominant as possible with the ball in your hands. All right, so you want to go with point guard for the position. Majority of the time when you're making the guard build, that's what you want to go with. For the height we're going on this build, we're going with 6'3". This is my first 6'3 build this year and it's my favorite. For weight, we're going to go with 198 pounds with the 6'8 wingspan. All right, on all my builds, I like to start with the physicals because when you upgrade your physicals, other things go up in other categories. So that's why I start here. For the speed, we're going to bump that up to an 86. So the speed's not bad on this build. It's pretty fast. Some people might say it's slow for a 6'3 build, but it's really not. If you know what you're doing, it's more than enough because speed really only impacts when you're on defense or if you're running off ball. And as a main guard, those aren't very super important things. And acceleration, we'll leave that at a 71. A 71 acceleration is enough to get open on this game and win at a high rate. I shoot 70% from three. This season, I'm winning about 80% of my games. And this is the only build I play with. I play on the ones, I played on the threes, the fives, tons of different courts with a 71 acceleration. And I'm the main guard being guarded by locks with 90 plus steel. And I have no problem. So if you haven't already, make sure you go check out my dribble tutorial because if you can't get open, it's probably because you don't know how to dribble and you got to watch my dribble tutorial. So go check that out. For our strength, we're going to put that up to a 49. This right here is not super important for the play style that you're going to be using with this build. The type of build this is, strength isn't going to play a huge factor. Onto our vertical, we're going to put that up to an 82 vertical. You want to make sure you put it at 82 because it's going to tie into your driving dunk. It's going to allow you to unlock dunk animations and contact dunk animations. So you're going to make sure you put that vertical up to an 82. And for our stamina, anytime you're making a guard build, I always say max out your stamina. You're going to be dribbling a decent amount in this game to get open. And when you do two or three moves, your stamina will be blinking anyway. So make sure you have that stamina maxed out. The next category is a finishing category. And this is my favorite category for this build. This is where I have the most fun when it comes to playing on this build. It might not be the most fun for you, but it is for me just because it's a different play style and it's kind of refreshing. This whole year, I haven't had a build with high driving dunk, but on this one, we have a high driving dunk. The first category is close shot. We're going to put that up to a 50. This, you don't need a super high. We're not going to be doing a whole bunch of close shots. Majority of the time, we're going to be dunking is with the dunk meter and putting people in contact animations. So close shots not going to really matter. And then for a layup, we're going to bump that up to a 75. This right here is more than enough to do your glitchy scoop layups. Scoop layups are almost as broken as contact dunks with the meter dunk as contact dunks when you're using the meter. Not as broken, but it's pretty close and a 75 is more than enough when i first made this build i had my layup at like a 58 and i was making hella scoop layups getting some crazy animations where i was just blown by my defenders and getting huge green windows on the layup meter so put your driving layup to a 75 moving on to our driving dunk right here we're going to max this out this is my favorite category about this build having a driving dunk of a 94 with post rosa gold precision dunker gold the contact dunk animations you unlock the dunk animations you unlock the regular ones and learning how to use a dunk meter it is super overpowered and it's hella fun i'm telling you this is the most fun I've had on the build all year just because of the driving dunk. And then for our standing dunk, we're gonna put that up to a 45. Not very important, but we gotta fill out the categories. So we put our standing dunk up to a 45. You're gonna leave it at that. Onto your mid-range, just gonna go up to a 77. So a 77 mid-range isn't super high. If you want, you can lower the three-pointer and then make the mid-range a little bit higher. Your badges will go higher, but you have a lower three-pointer. So it's really up to you how you wanna upgrade these two categories, the mid-range and the three-pointer. If you upgrade the mid-range a little bit higher, up to the high 80s or 90s, you'll get higher badges. But if you upgrade your three-pointer, higher which i'm gonna upgrade mine to a 92 you'll be able to shoot better than you would if you had 80 some three-pointer which is more than enough to shoot in this game for some people but if you want to have that 90 plus three-pointer like i have to get dead eye blinders gold limitless silver if you don't have a 92 three-pointer you don't get limitless silver so i wanted that on silver along with the rest of these badges that i get all on gold we get open looks every badge you need you're able to get it on gold with limitless range on silver so that's why i went with the 92 and then also for the free throw i'll put mine up to a 71 i don't play wreck a lot i do sometimes if i'm bored i'll hop into the wreck and just run some and i will say i do miss some free throws sometimes i go one for one sometimes i'll make both but it's not very consistent with the 71 free throw so if you want to adjust this build based on what you're playing if you're playing more rec or pro am you can upgrade this free throw up higher than this so you can have a higher percentage of the free throw line but i don't mainly play that i'm mainly playing in the park threes twos or whatever it may be on to the pass accuracy we're gonna bump this up to 75 75 pass act is what i'm going with on all my guard builds right now you don't need anything higher you can it does make your passing faster it does give you better pass styles but you don't need it if you know what you're doing if you know when to pass the ball whenever defenders are helping and they're stuck in the paint you just hit your uh, teammate or if you see them dropping and you hit your teammate earlier you'll be able to get your teammates wide open perfectly fine with the 75 pass act for a ball handle we're gonna bump that up to a 95 with a 95 we unlock steve francis signature size up and if you ask me this is the best signature size up in the game for builds that are under 65 and then meet that threshold which is a 95 ball handle 
So I recommend going 95 so you can have the best six in the game. And then for speed with ball, we're gonna go with a 90. This right here unlocks Kyrie Irving dribble style. And again, this is the best dribble style in the game for any build actually in the game, but only builds under that 6'5 threshold can get it. You have to have a 90 speed with ball, so I say go with that. This setup along is gonna give you the best six in the game. On to the defense. And I know a lot of people complain about the defense on this build, and I don't understand why, because as a guard, you're not really gonna be guarding ball that much. And you at least you shouldn't be. Some people, if you're playing randoms, if you have no teammates, you might be guarding ball and this build might not be for you when it comes to defense but me i have a team or i pick my teammates and most of the time i'm gonna have a lock on my team along with a center who can play defense as well so probably a 6'8 center or a 6'9 center with a 6'6 through 6'8 lock who's gonna be guarding ball and i'm gonna be sitting in the corner i'm gonna get back door sometimes it is what it is but it's only two points and people gonna get scored on more than that at the top of the three-point line when they give up in three so it really don't matter but we're gonna go with the interior defense of a 57 i will say this interior defense of a 57 does allow me to get stops in the paint when people back door me i put my hands up i wall up and i get plenty of stops doing this it's not consistent it's not 100 nothing in this game is 100 and i've seen people with 90 interior defense get scored on anyway with this 94 driving dunk i put people in the rim all the time even with rim take so you really don't need it it's really not super important especially for a guard our premier defense that goes up to 56 automatically based on everything else that we have upgraded already and then we have a 27 block which is nothing crazy and we have a defense rebound of a 32 all right real quick i want to show you the six i'm using and the jump shot i'm using on this build for our dribble style we're gonna go with Kyrie Irving it is by far the best in the game and luckily this build can get it with a speed with ball of a 90 so you're gonna throw Kyrie Irving on for the signature size up I'm using Steve Francis for Steve Francis you need a 95 ball handle if you decide to go a little bit lower if you make the build a little bit different kind of tweak it to your liking you can also go with Derrick Rose where you need an 87 you can go with Trey Young as well which you need an 82 ball handle to get onto the regular breakdown combo I think this is the best breakdown combo in the game we're going with Darius Garland all you need is an 80 ball handle for this and then for aggressive breakdown combo we're also using Darius Garland again and here all you need is an 80 ball handle again i don't do these combos a lot but they are good combos if you want to add them to your bag onto the skate moves i've been using kimber walker for a while now i'm thinking about going back to trey young just to try it out to change things up a little bit because i kind of get bored when i'm using the same thing over and over again but right now i'm using kimber walker and i might change it to trey young you can't go wrong with either one kimber walker all you need is an 86 ball handle and then trey young you need a 92 ball handle moving on to the combo move this is another move i don't do a lot but we're using steph curry for crossover i recently changed my crossover from kobe bryant which is what i've been using all year to john wall i really don't see a huge difference but i'm using john wall as of right now onto the behind the back the best move in the game i'm using jamal murray i still don't think anything's better than jamal murray this season they did add tyrese halliburton and we still have james hard and steph curry which are valid ones that you can throw on if you want but i honestly feel like jamal murray is the way to go all you need is an 83 ball handle to unlock this so go ahead and throw jamal murray on for our spin we're using basic onto the hesitation we're using john wall this is a real quick hesitation you can add into your combo when you chain the moves together you can pop a little hezzy in there it's real quick real smooth and it goes well with the other six and then for the step back i think the best one for smaller builds the way you're going to be dribbling on the smaller build is steph curry but if you can't get steph curry at a 92 ball handle if you switch that up a little bit you can go with john wall this is another good one on to our jump shot and this right now is my favorite jump shot for smaller build going to go with steph curry for the base and then release one's going to be oscar robinson at 80 percent and then release two is going to be darius garland at 20 percent with max release speed this is a very good jump shot very smooth jump shot i shoot it a high clip with it and it has good shot attributes so you can't go wrong with it and that's the build i'm telling you i've had so much fun on this build just with that 94 driving dunk and learning how to actually use a dunk meter and i think you'll have just as much as fun too once you learn how to do that but click on this video right here on the screen if you need a jump shot to go along with this build